Jennifer, a vibrant, intelligent young woman with a bright smile, graduated from college with honors in 2012. She'd recently landed a job as a district manager for a well-known international company when she got a call in the middle of the night from a store manager. An alarm was going off in the store and the manager asked Jennifer to meet her. Quickly throwing on some clothes, Jennifer left for the store, but never made it there. At an intersection not far from her home, a 26-year-old man, high on medical marijuana, raced at high speed through a red light, slamming into Jennifer's car. Her life, and all her dreams for the future, came to a screeching halt in an instant. Sadly, Jennifer's tragic story is not a unique one. Fatalities in the U.S. from marijuana-impaired drivers have risen dramatically since 2000, from 9% of fatal crashes to over 22% in recent years. The loosening of marijuana restrictions in states that have legalized the drug has introduced a more permissive culture. At the same time, little effort has been made to address the potential risks of marijuana-impaired driving. And, making matters worse, the challenge of detecting and enforcing marijuana-impaired driving remains an imperfect science. Even more disturbing are results from a new study published by Drug Free America Foundation. In states that have legalized cannabis, marijuana-impaired driving is 32% higher than in states that haven't. So it's vital that policymakers around the country consider these results in future debates especially since enforcement data shows between 11 to 23% of recreational cannabis sales end up in the hands of minors. On top of that, consumption lounges and drive-up pot shops will keep spurring increased occurrences of marijuana intoxication and driving. The stark reality is that using marijuana causes impairment, and driving impaired can kill. Permissive laws fostering this dangerous behavior shouldn't be enacted, and if warranted, must be repealed. The wrong decisions on this critical issue will cost more innocent lives. Just ask Jennifer's mom. It's criminal what happened to my daughter, Jennifer. The world has lost the most beautiful woman who would have made a big difference. We need to wake up to this very real danger of marijuana impaired driving right away.